the sound is working. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There we go, it's been a while. You know, disentangling the uh, Wiimote and the nunchucks. It's been a while since I've played a game with uh, this contraption. <laughs> Hello Razoak, how's it going? So, um, just waiting to get a couple of people in before we uh, hit that start button. Enjoying week off. That sounds good. I'm not doing too bad, thank you. We're just coming up for, uh, well, my editorial deadline for uh, Retro Gamer. And then, um, yeah, you know, getting over uh, losing in the final on Sunday. But <laughs> that's, uh, that's the thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, not too bad altogether. Thank you. Good stuff. I've not left the sound alerts muted like last time. <laughs> Give a couple more minutes for uh, people to get in. You've been playing much lately? Ghost of Shima and Persona 4. Ooh, now Persona, there's something interesting. Ah, hello, Overlord. And say, so with Persona, I had completely forgotten that it was 25 years um, old this year as a series. Um, so I kind of want to do something with that, see what we can do. Um, but yeah, Persona 4 is like... Uh, I've got 3, 4 and 5 um, which I think are the generally popular ones. Ghost of Shima I've not tried but I gather it's sort of um, Souls in Japan uh, How are you doing this evening Overlord? Man, I hope you're uh, feeling a bit less shattered now. All right. So let's uh, let's start the big weebing. A bit groggy immediately afterwards, yeah. And get that sort of weird sleep drunkenness. It's not actually being drunk, but you just slightly feel it. Uh, so I'm going to be playing through this for the first time. I've uh, 
never tried it before although it said the game data's loaded that was just from me uh, basically booting it up and testing that it worked well this is stylish Yeah, I'm liking it. Definitely uh, the furthest I've gone down the Wii pole uh, on my stream so far. Statue of Liberty in there in case they don't uh, get the American side of it. I, bet you know, uh, I think I have the PC. Do I have the PC version of that or do I have the Vita version of that? Either way. I mean, I could. <laughs> Right then. Here we go. Ah, the cherry blossoms. Mother. Here I am, in the Imperial capital of Tokyo. And tomorrow, my new life in the city will finally begin. You've got the voice of every anime protagonist ever. Are you Miss... Nice to meet you, Taiga-san. No, the pleasure is all mine. My name is Lieutenant Shinjiro Taiga. Ah, uh, yes, slightly out of his depth. <laughs> okay, so... Lieutenant Taiga, please follow me to our secret base beneath the Grand Imperial Theater. I mean, don't say where it is. <laughs> So he doesn't get voice lines in the main game, um, just in the cutscenes. First, it's the perfect cover for our clandestine operations, and second... Oh, it's like the uh, old secret nuclear bunker road signs, isn't it? <laughs> we quell the evil within the hearts of all citizens through the magic of song and dance. Ah, yes. Because they found football didn't work. We, the Flower Division, combat injustice and defend the peace of this great city. But we also use the power of the theater to maintain general order. These are our duties. Oh, nice. Hi, Gerbersoft. How's it going this evening? Well, this afternoon for you, I guess. Yeah, except we soon go to America. <laughs> Good luck, Lieutenant Taiga. Commander Ogami expects much from you. If I'm not mistaken, you're his nephew, are you not? Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, you you are the nephew of the main character from the earlier games. Um, this is actually the fifth game in the series, but it's the first one that was released in English. Um, so we are jumping in here at a point very much like, I guess, um, if you started the Ace Attorney series with Apollo Justice, I guess that's where you'd be roughly thinking. I see. Oh, here we are. The Grand Imperial Theatre. Please, come in. The commander has been waiting for you. I mean, it still looks like a big important building, even if it doesn't shout military base. Commander Ogami, may I present Lieutenant Shinjiro Taiga? Here, yeah, mate. Thank you, Miss Shinguji. Welcome, Lieutenant. <laughs> I suppose this is one of the better ways for your uncle to make you nervous. Where are your manners, Lieutenant Taiga? Greet your commander. Okay, so you get timed prompts in these games. Uh, if you have to choose a dialogue option, you have to read them and respond well quick. Good boy. Now straighten that back and give it everything you've got, okay? Oh, and one other thing, Lieutenant. There's something you should know. Something I should know. You haven't actually been assigned to the Imperial Assault Force. <laughs> eh? Lieutenant Taiga, as of now, you are assigned to the Star Division of the New York Combat Review. The New York Combat Review. It's our newest branch, right behind the Paris Assault Force. Yep. I think you'll be of great assistance to them. I recommended you personally. So the first two games take place in Japan, and three and four take place in Paris, I believe. They're all a little green over there, so I want you to take a leadership role with them. They're all green over there, so we're sending a child to lead them. You're what, 19 years old now? You shouldn't be afraid of a little international travel. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I was nervous when I first went to Paris. And look at me now. I'm a commander. Uh, yes, you are. I'll get in touch with a few friends in New York. They can help you if you have any trouble. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I... I specifically wanted to get that feature in when the new game launched, because... Um... It's like, it's Sega's biggest series in Japan more or less or was for a time um, like aside from Virtue Fighter in the Saturn era and like it's basically it had been basically you know the preserve of import enthusiasts and nobody else over here so I kind of wanted to highlight it especially now there's a fan translation of the first game The peace of New York rests on your shoulders Good luck Shinji well, off we go then. Oh, and we got a cutscene. If you ever find yourself in a tight spot, use this. Until that time comes, just make sure you keep it safe. Okay. One more thing. Huh? No matter what enemies you come across, just believe in yourself. Your time has come, Lieutenant Shinjiro Taiga. Fight hard. I wish you the best of luck. 
Thank you very much, Uncle. I'll do my best. So, the guy who's staying behind is dressed in fairly stereotypical, stereotypically Western clothes, and they're sending the kid over, looking very Japanese. Hi, Aiden. How's it going tonight? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. As they uh, play in this one for the first time, it's a bit of a uh, departure. It's the first RPG I'm playing on the channel. This is America. Um, it's very, very this weeby. That I've sworn to protect with my very life. All right, where there's a will, there's a way. The New York Combat Review is waiting for me. I'll make everyone proud. <laughs> there will be gameplay. I'm going to show them all my samurai spirit. Oh, good. <laughs> A samurai makes his first stand. Even the people are big. Mm. You just wait till you see Texas, mate. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. How is uh, well, this is set in the 1920s, so uh, I don't think I don't think the World Trade Center would have been built. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to go after a petty thief. Stop right there, villains! Oh, more than one. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> She just killed them. Don't worry, they're still alive. What? <laughs> what about the book? She's very much an American, or at least. Here's my question: Is that thing on your neck just for balance or something? What thing? <laughs> what? Stop being so fucking hostile! Oh. <laughs> what was all that? Who the heck was that masked woman? <laughs> was that a pet reference? Crazy horse. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> oh, magic anime disappearing powers from as yet unknown but clearly villainous individual. <laughs> Too late. How come she always gets away so fast? Ah, so she is essentially um, the Spider Man of 1920s New York. The masked hero that the police just can't catch. You're under arrest for bank robbery and blind stupidity. <laughs> 
And blind stupidity. Fantastic. <laughs>
Hey, Captain? Of course. Thanks again, Kayama. <laughs> so they have just sent a literal child over to be. If you're ever in trouble, come on down to Romando, my shop. Romando. See you later! Don't get in any trouble now, Shinjiro! Good advice for the kid you just uh, saved from bank robbery and stupidity charges. Oh my god. If that noise plays every time he appears, I'm gonna get so mad with him. But you, in, in this public place, you just explained that you are captain. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, the commander is unique. That over there is his office. Okay. Excuse me, sir. The recruit from the Imperial Assault Force has just arrived. Okay, those look like good sofas. Ah, Konbanwa. Uh, konnichiwa. And Ohio. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this is Mr. Sunnyside, your commander and owner of the Little Lit Theater. Mr. Sunnyside. Welcome to the team, Shinjiro. May I call you Shin? I also hate this guy. <laughs> Sunnyside. But everyone affectionately refers to me simply as Sunny. Oh, they affectionately refer to you as that, do they? Actually, <laughs> I could see drop kicking him out of a window. <laughs> fully, fully taken down immediately by Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> Serious as always, but of course that is one of your many charms. <laughs> yes. I'm sure you'll do your best to help out the team. This is my chance to prove my dedication. Yeah. Lieutenant Tiger. Well, that didn't go well. Talk with clarity and volume. Assert yourself. Some slack. In Japan, directness like that could be considered rude, you know. Oh, so he does know at least something. I interpreted his statement as I'll fulfill my duty even at the cost of my own life. That's quite a way to go on your own. Is that not a reasonable assumption to make? So you only meant exactly what you said? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm getting increasingly close to uh drop kicking him out of the window. Is that so? Well that's just awesome. Can't wait to see you in action. I was gonna say the um timed responses definitely push you into some panic decisions. Very good. Now just go to the address listed on this piece of paper. We've arranged an apartment for you in the village. You can take your things there right away. Oh, lovely. By the way, Shinster... Um, Shinster. Are you familiar with the... Uh, Harakiri? What? Okay. Bingo! Now 
Now, I don't want you to think that Harakiri is a viable option here, understand? Oh my god, you're just a massive racist! <laughs> That's the quick way out. Here in America, you are expected to live with your mistakes. I... this guy! That's all. Sayonara! Goodbye, I never want to see you again. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Well, that was a hell of an introduction. <laughs> I can only imagine, like, he turns out to be a villain. I can't imagine having to put up with that guy for the whole game. <laughs> I put a lampshade on head. Right, like, holy crap. So... I am Rookie. My friendship levels... Uh, ...are as yet unknown. So, let's carry on. And hope to God we don't see Sunny again. <laughs> as far away from Sunny as you can get. Hmm. Where am I? I think I got all balled up at that last crossroad. Hmm, do you now? <laughs> Just increasingly scale the sprite. The satanic pentagram of friendship. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but that's how a lot of my friendships end up. Oh, mercy me! Are you okay? Here, let me just... Oh. So, he now no longer knows where he lives. That's good. Is this it? Dropped it when I bumped into you. Village, huh? Hmm. Be more careful. Hey, you said the village, right? Think I could tag along with you? Yeah, I'm feeling that way too, Overlord. Um, she's definitely not in Sunsun mode here. I've been trying to get there all day, but I can't make heads or tails of this dirty bird. This dirty bird. Come on, you gotta help a lady in distress. I just moved here, and frankly, I'm at sea. Don't know if this is going to be the right option. Huh? Oh, I think I'm over explaining. <laughs> Man, you're a hoot. Still, it seemed to work, so <laughs> right there. I mean, I'm surprised he knows English. Japan, huh? Yeah, I can see it. You definitely got that Far East flair. I mean, just look at the clothing. So you're a samurai? Don't that just beat all? <laughs> I love samurai! Do you now? Taking up arms to prove their honor. 
handing over their lives like a fallen cherry blossom. This is definitely Miss America's secret identity. Someday I'll take up my own blade, the Red Dawn. You fool. Can't you see this land belongs to the Tokugawa clan? Okay. So what we've done is essentially we've met our first weeb. <laughs> oh, uh, you all right? Sorry about that. Sometimes I just get stuck in my own little sky saddle. Sky saddle. <laughs> wow. Some of this phrasing. You are very Texan. So, you mind if I call you shiny? Don't that just sound shiny? Shiny it is. Right. Okay. Get a <laughs> Suddenly, Spanner uh, wants to play worms. Must be all tuckered out. Probably. I do keep meeting exhausting people. She's gonna be an actress and she also loves doing samurai shit. Hmm. <clears throat> Philosopher or a monk. That's kind of dorky. Oh! Shut down. Just like one of my Japanese wood carvings. Yeah, it's a bit late for that, but you know. Yes, Shinji. Shinjiro. Shiny. Whatever. Oh, well, that worked. Maggie's store. Italian flags around. Just what I want to see right now. Okay, so she's just going to uh, ditch me. <laughs> Energetic. <laughs> All Americans like that. <laughs> I feel like that's a question that <laughs> gets asked <laughs> quite a lot. Oh. oh no, she's our housemate. <laughs> yep, yeah. works at the theatre. Knew it. That's 
quite a nice room. Zany romantic misunderstandings, I'm gonna guess, are gonna be quite a big part of what's going on here. Just, just as a, uh, just as a guess. No, it isn't. Shut up. We take care of it, and it's ours. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Stay away. Well, by being the honorable man, I have uh increased my <laughs> Likeability, I guess. Uh, why are you both yelling? I, I'm trying to play. I'm trying to do well at this. This is my first time, right? I mean, I, I was tempted. <laughs> Debauchery. <laughs> what is right? We need the newspapers. Would you please just stop? I feel like this is something he should ask a lot of characters. Hey, knock it off! You have no reason to blush. Wow, this this little girl hates me. Come on, don't be mean. You need to learn how to treat boys. Mmm. Mmm. Cherry? Omri? Oh, so you know both of them, you just haven't intervened. Uh, hey, Gemini! What took you so long? Did you meet up with the new guy? Sure did. This is him. <laughs> Are you serious? I was expecting someone a little more manly. Rugged. You know. Okay, well, at least we know what she's into. Oh well, no skin off my nose. Glad to meet you, Tiger. I'm Cherry. <laughs> Cherry Cocker! <laughs> no, that can't be correct. Please. <laughs> Okay, we carry on. I take care of the watering hole at our humble little lip theater. Okay, you're the barmaid. Suddenly, <laughs> quite a lot makes sense. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this little firecracker works at the theater, too. Henri? Uh, um, sorry, I was. So mean to you before. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> there. All better. We'll be seeing a lot of each other, so we gotta get along. Cherry Cocker. Fuck's sake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was told to give this to the new guy when he got here. It's your theater uniform and a pocket watch. Good for any real man. Go ahead, try it on. Well, good. I think we're done here. We should really get back to the theater. Jiminy, why don't you take the rookie here and show him around the city? Okay. Sure thing. Saddle up, Shiny. We're gonna have some fun. Is she going to ride the horse?
Oh, we have 3D graphics, people. And I guess I'm in control here. So he's got walk and run. Uh, where are we going then? Cafe Samba. Best coffee shop in the village. <laughs> Hundred years later, it's a Starbucks. Let's go say hello to Ratchet. Oh. Criming. So the area with the Italian flags is a mafia hotspot. Yep. <laughs> it's America, it's just gunshots. Dang! Wow, okay. <laughs> Just watch out for your own behind. Okay. Well, two people like that, so... There we go. So we visit Cafe Samba, Maggie's Grocery. This is Shiny. At least use his real name for people he's never met before. Oh. <laughs> She's gone wide-eyed and weeby. <laughs> That's your favourite country? Yes, it is. Well, there we go. and carrots. Now, why would she need carrots if she... You know, there, there's a horse going on there, isn't there? Okay. Okay, so we can move to other areas. What's that? Oh, robots. Which way is Midtown? Oh right, you can just choose. Okay.
this looks much more peaceful than I was expecting given the flying robot scramble. Ah. Uh. Okay, so she's too high level for uh, getting into the ground scraps. <laughs> okay. Right in it. By the apartments, so presumably here. Wait, so we're a secret organization, but everyone knows that we're the best. I wonder what their secret identities are. <laughs> okay. The Daily News. And don't trust any newspaper with the daily in it. Let's not give away our secret identities. <laughs> Way to go, Shiny. Plaza Hotel. And suddenly I'm thinking of Home Alone 2. Even the president has stayed here. Oh god, now I am thinking of Home Alone 2. Hmm. Take a quick peek inside the hotel. Chandelier, nice couch, marble floor. Yeah, seems good. Ah. Hello again, Cherry. Someone lives in the hotel, bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. We're fine. I don't think she's used to New York yet. Yeah, for real. Oh, hi, Cherry. Uh, 
Let's go somewhere new. If I've new. Oh, it's Ratchet again. gonna no I'm coming along as well <laughs> 500 what was 500 dollars in 1920s money like what, what what's that now Christ for one skirt Oh, she's insecure. That is a lot, right? I need to get an inflation calculator or something. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, you deserved a punch in the face for that one, Shinjiro, mate. I can't believe that worked for Ratchet. <laughs> My God. That is a lot of cash. Right, let's see if there's anywhere that we didn't visit the library. Looks like a Western style temple. Just a library. That's one big ass library. Ah, yes, the tiny tsundere. <laughs> it's a library. We're supposed to be whispering. Ah, <laughs> you're short. <laughs> uh. So much more thoughtful than Shin. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> She hate me. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. No shit. Doesn't really like boys in general. Oh, right. Sure does like to torture you. <laughs> wow. Okay.
Wait, is that a phone? Okay, so we've got the Apple Watch, but it is the 1920s. I need you to come back to the manager's office. So it looks like we're going to be making progress beyond the uh, sort of introductory stuff. That's a that's a pretty good office. And let's face it, it's not got sunny in it, so it's you know going to be better. ticket to a show. That's nice, given that you work there. Okay, we're going to introduce some more people first. Oh, the voices are back. Oh. Subaru saw the new guy. He's Japanese, is he not? <laughs> Subaru saw the new guy, Shuba Shuba. <laughs> Let me introduce you to our other Japanese member. I'm Subaru Kujo of the Star Division. Just call me Subaru. Is this, oh no! It's gonna be one of these. Is this a guy or a girl? Oh. Super something you got. No. I, 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 we're going to get wacky shenanigans on, on this line. I know it. As far as I'm concerned, male or female is nothing more than a difference of organs. Yep. Subaru is simply Subaru. Um, nothing more, nothing less. Right. Subaru wonders if there's any reason to teach you anything. Wow! What a dickhead! I see no reason to answer your questions or to even interact with you at all. <sighs> yeah, uh, Subaru is like a much less friendly, entertaining version of The Rock in that regard. Subaru, Lieutenant Taiga comes to us from the Imperial Assault Force. 
Hmm? Subaru is certain there is no way you can replace him. Replace whom? Don't worry about it. Let's go before the elevator leaves without us. Well, Subaru's a dickhead. <laughs> huh? I thought Karen was in the dressing room. Wait here while I go look for her. She oh. must be around here somewhere. This is a nice looking room. visitor it just so happens I am who's asking I know all you kids want to get a glimpse of the famous dancer but rules are rules kid <laughs> get back to the auditorium or we'll have to I don't know why I've asked for her help. A wise decision. Who better to solve this situation than me? Someone who's not a dickhead. What? You know this kid or something? He isn't a fan, Karen. He's our new employee, Shinjiro Taiga. He just started today. You can't be serious! This little runt? <laughs> oh, wow. Again, literal child. He'll get busted for putting a minor on the payroll. <laughs> Everyone hates Sonny. Come on, kid. Those words for that sweatshop bastard. <laughs> you tell him. I like you already. I'm a lawyer, you know. I won't stand by and let him disrespect the law like this. She's a lawyer and a dancer and presumably a skilled combat robot pilot. I really like her. Let's go. If you don't help, I might just have you arrested and deported. Whoa. Okay. And apparently a fucking ice agent. Please don't yank on me. <laughs> Dear me. Subaru doesn't like to meddle in the affairs of others. Wait till you see her chapter. Okay. That's I, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> hey sunny side, you're Creighton. What do you think you're doing here? <laughs> uh Do we really have to see Sonny again? <laughs> Hello there, Karen. What's up your butt today? How are you doing, you? How, how are things going this evening? Don't you know there are laws against putting 13-year-olds to work? <laughs> He's 19. <sighs> I know you think I'm dumb as a doorknob, legal eagle, but I'm not that stupid. The law means nothing if we don't respect it. Just knowing it isn't enough! Ah, oh, good to hear. Good to hear. What you been up to? I will not stand by as my employer brazenly commits felonies left and right! <laughs> Where were you when I was at Science Alive? Looks like we're in deep. Oh yeah, I I was uh 
you know, I was I was a bit downbeat on Sunday, but like for the first time in a long time, I feel hope when I watch the England team, and I think that's the important thing to take away. Like we've been to a World Cup semi-final and a European Championships finals, and you know, consecutively, and in my lifetime, that's never happened. Like, is the World Cup's only a year and a half away? I think we could do brilliantly. But I very much am. <laughs> you look like ten, maybe. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, kid. Just drop the act. Did Sunnyside put you up to this? <laughs> I won't get mad if you just tell me the truth. But if you don't stop lying. Yeah, as I say, like, I mean, the only time I've ever seen England get so far in a tournament was, well, I mean, obviously never to a final my, at my age, but, um, yeah. <laughs> like, it's been the first time in 25 years where I can sort of watch them with hope, so I was pretty happy. Surely you've noticed that... By and large, Asian folks tend to look younger than they are. Oh, okay, it's Sonny being Sonny again. Besides, he's not some underage staffer. He's our newest member. I felt we needed a little leadership, so I asked Japan to send us their very best. So we got a brand new recruit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This twig? <laughs> twig. Nice. So they sent us some half-grown greenhorn? I hope you kept the receipt. <laughs> so I hear you're a racist now, Sonny, right? Fucking hell. The way I understood it, Commander Ogami himself was coming. This is a clear breach of contract. Ah. Uh. It's not come from fucking Amazon. Come on. Chop chop, get it done. I'm out of here. And there she goes. Hmm. She's so grumpy. Her boiling point is like absolute zero. Okay. <laughs> wow, condescending much? Since our organization is so new, we need a really strong leader, you know? If you're asking for the truth, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it's a shame I can't play with the uh, Japanese voiceovers, but we didn't get the PS2 version over here. I didn't have uh, import capable PS2 at the time, so. Hey, Maid Man, how's it going this morning? How are you? This is um, this is so long, my love, which is the um, fifth game in the series, uh, but it was the first one that was released in English. Just got up, okay. Got an exciting day ahead. It's 
Is that so? Mm -mm. What can I say? We were expecting the commander. You're just gonna have to accept that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get that. Working from home is, uh, the life these days. Yep, we probably should have told you. Sorry about that. <laughs> but there it is. You're not the warrior we were looking forward to. Their princess is in another castle. To be honest, we're still not really sure what to do with you. <laughs> we got this thing and we just... <laughs> we've got this human, what do we do? Keep it? This is my very first time playing any of the games in the series. Um, I also have the PS4 one, which I'm excited to play um, at some point in the future, but... I decided to jump on this one because it was the first one that was released in English and I wanted to see how weird of a jumping in point it was given that it's the fifth game. Um, and there's also the fan translation of the Saturn game which I'd like to play. Listen, Lieutenant. This is America. We are nothing if not practical. If you really want to be part of the team, just prove that you can be useful. Prove that I can be useful. Start sweeping the floors. Yep. Passion is great and all, but it's useless without results. So, my understanding is that uh, the strategic battle stuff is, you know, that sort of um, kind of thing, but there is a lot of. Uh, In America. Everyone has a shot at making it big. But a lot of visual novel style connecting tissue. So find a way to make your mark. And if you can't, we'll just have to call up the commander. I mean, we're well over an hour in and we've not even gotten to anything resembling a battle yet. Anyway, there's no time to teach you the ABCs of America. Atlanta, Baltimore. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, definitely, um, got its share of anime nonsense, but I'm here for anime nonsense, so, um, Sorry, but I have to get going. yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. You should come watch us and figure out how you might be able to fit in. Yeah, I mean, that's the understanding that I have. I, obviously, it's a very successful series, um, and that must, you know, there must be a fairly good reason for that, right? <laughs> The lights go up. Oh, now see, that's interesting because I love Valkyria Chronicles. I didn't know. Because I know that Valkyria Chronicles, obviously, you have uh, real time movement in a turn based setting. I don't know how this works in relation to that. Ooh. Buzzer, okay. I do love the Valkyria Chronicles games. Oh, here we go.
I think two is definitely the weakest in the series. Um, three, I greatly preferred over two. Well, everyone loved the performance. Amazing! So this is the power of a New York musical. Okay. Opera singer should join the Sakura squad. Uh... Ah, oh, Shinjiro. Oh. This presumably is going to be fightings. Enemy robots! Power of the New York musical. Uh, is that actually the PS3 meme? I'm not sure. <laughs> Giant enemy robots, of course. Giant enemy. If they were crab robots, that would be good. Where's the conference room? You don't know because you've not been here long. Who'd you bump into? Oh. We like you. Shooting back straight fire, judging by his uh, picture there. Whoa! Okay. I think it's finally starting to heat up a little bit. Combat uniform. Sorry, Lieutenant Tiger. I can't let you into the conference room. Your orders are to clean up the theater. Wow. Okay. Cleanliness is of the highest importance. You have your orders, Lieutenant. Be useful. Do your stuff. What is going to happen to you now? Ooh. And we've reached the end of uh, that chapter episode. So people are fairly motivated. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, the more they trust each other, the thicker the line becomes. Okay, so it's sort of fairly thin at the moment here. They're not super uh, bright. Right, on we carry. Need those thick vines, yeah, right? Deepen those bonds of friendship. Lovely stroll through the park. Oh, the men menu music is different, huh? Again, this is something I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have known. Wait, what? <laughs> so that's in the middle of Central Park. <laughs> Precious little Klee darlings. Oh, okay. here to feed the little fishies with me. I don't want to spend any more time with you than I can possibly manage. Why oh, yes. is... You, you are Sonny. Tell Uncle Sonny side. You are really creepy, man. It's hi Deacon. It's um, it's an interesting thing. So we have uh, we have joined the um, Star Division out here. There are big combat robots and musicals. Um, this guy is pretty creepy, and um, we're not being allowed to fight because we are a brand new recruit rather than you know the decorated commander they are expecting. So we've we've gone to visit Mr. Sunnyside about it. Mr. Sunnyside has been sort of somewhere between weebish and well racist. <laughs> um uh, now now we have to talk to him again. Oh, dear. Is it the comment about, oh my god, this guy? How are you doing tonight? <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. So the only reason we've not been sent back is because of the paperwork. Wow. Confidence builder. Woke up 10 minutes ago, that sort of night, huh?
So we are going to be a theatre usher. Ah, Congressman. Everyone loves them. How am I going to help protect the city as an usher? Well, by making sure that nobody gets disorderly at the musicals. Gotta say, on the uh, scale of slow starts, this is up there. Long have I watched fear and pain gather before me, only to send them away on the wind. <laughs> Too right. And my heart soars with the birds in the sky. Yeah. Ah. Wonder what she's doing. Well, clearly getting ready to star in a fucking Disney film by the looks of all the birds. Oh no, don't be that guy, Shen. Good morning, sir. How are you this fine day? <laughs> yes. Care to join me? I was just feeding the birds. Oh, no, no, no. There are other voiced characters, but, um... I had forgotten there was a wheelchair user in Sonic X, to be honest. Um... This could be a thing. <laughs> I'm glad to see you smile. You looked so depressed a second ago. Oh, I'm time to flirt. And you are? Diana Caprice. Well, that's probably the best name so far, given that other names have been things like Ratchet and Cherry Cocker. so sad. Has your stay not been what you expected? Hmm. Well, you could say that. <laughs> Cherry Cocker. Yes. For real, that is one of the characters. She is a barmaid and she is um, overly flirty. Don't get discouraged. You might be stuck doing those chores for now. <laughs> the greatest name. <laughs> yeah. But just keep doing your best, and eventually someone will recognize your efforts. That's the spirit. Uh, some of the American names here is uh they're, they're quite something. Come on, turn that brown upside. <laughs> Extend RPG smiles. Oh, turn that frown upside down. Everything will be fine. We all have potential for the future. Oh well, that's nice of you. I 
I know what I have to do now. What do you have to do now? <laughs> I'm glad. If you, can, <laughs> you can visit me any time. I'm here every morning. Here every morning. Well, that's nice. Take care, Shin. Well, we've met another new character. That's not bad. Practice my ticket ripping technique. I mean, the people at the Odeon can do it. I'm pretty sure you can too, mate. The sign is suspicious, right? <laughs> like little lip theater, and it just is massive lips. No, absolutely. Remember to keep smiling. Okay. Not that kind of theatre, right? Break a leg tonight. Wow. Wow. You guys are being real mean. Toilets are massively useful, you bitch! <laughs> God damn! They stop us from shitting on the floor! This is... This is Take Abuse Simulator 2021, Christ. Bye. Well, that's an upgrade from uh, the complete dismissiveness with which you greeted me. I, I did not buy this game going for uh, masochism, if I'm honest, but... Didn't think you'd show your face around here again. Wow. Unloaded all those bad feelings. Yeah, I'm going axe throwing like my sister. It is, um, it's quite an expensive game now, I saw. Yeah, like it's 75 to 100 quid. Righty then. Suddenly I know, I know why you want to be an actress rather than a cleaner. <laughs> what happened to you? You seem lively. <laughs> this is suspicious. Backstreet 
like half an hour of Don Hut. I, I'm not going to question how you know that. It's like you became a real man overnight. Wow. Okay. Sweep a mop, sweep a mop, just like uh, my old days on Colchester High Street. I became a real man overnight and didn't even need the help of Cherry Cocker to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay. Cleaning time. Ah, it's Subaru. <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. I remember discovering that for the first time. Okay. You speak a uh, well, you read a lot of languages there. You gotta learn to say what he means to be a real man. <laughs> Wait, this isn't just a visual novel. It's not just a visual novel, no. Yeah, yeah, this this is an RPG we like it's a lot of visual novel dating sim stuff, but also there is like tactical RPG battles. Um and we haven't seen even a bit of that yet. Okay. It's like Persona 4 in that regard starts with a lot of sort of story and very little in the way of actual proper interaction. Okay, so first I... A sweet floor with a broom, yes. Wipe the 
floor down with the rack. So we're timed on this. What? Oh no! It's the comic anime mishap! Okay, first chapter's normally long, that makes sense. News for overnight. Thought it was going to be Company of Heroes 3 thing. I haven't seen the Company of Heroes news. What's that news? So this is Gemini, but it's Gemini for some reason. We got it done because of teamwork. Yeah. I was going to see if we could check the uh, thing to see the full name because I've forgotten what her surname was. <laughs> Gemini Cricket. <laughs> Think I could go hand out flyers? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Star signs. That does make sense. Right, yeah. No, uh, Company of Heroes isn't too weeby, I didn't think. Uh... <laughs> Jerry Cocker. <laughs> yeah, it's not a star sign. Uh, I mean, Knockers might as well be given the uh, cut of the shirt that she wears. Jeez. <laughs> No, not a main character at all. Right then. Oh, there she is. <laughs> but we have a uh, busy main streets to do. is not here. Oh no, that is just literally... <laughs> Hello Para! How are you this evening? <laughs> if your sign is Jerry Cocker, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it is a nice looking game, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, lives in the hotel. <laughs> it's Cherry Cocker, not Cherry Knockers. <laughs> Why am I saying that with a... I'm not saying that with a straight face. Oh dear. Occupies the finest royal suite, of course. Of course. <laughs> Not the protagonist. <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> even make the game? <laughs> well, quite. <laughs> I 
Fifth Avenue. Doing fine. Good to hear. Um, I was going to say, I hope you're enjoying your uh, break. Um, I'm doing good, thanks. It's Cherry Cocker! <laughs> Here she is. Didn't even realise you took rockers, okay. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. I'm uh, enjoying this game and all of the anime nonsense that comes with it. I suppose you should know about the hip New York layouts. Yeah, don't be too, too mean, you yeah. little tsundere. <laughs> really mature, you're just a little slow. Wow! So, so far he's been charged with criminal stupidity. He's been belittled by most of his co-workers and a lot of them seem to think he's quite stupid <laughs> poor guy easy tiger right so we've done this, so I guess we now go back to Oh! Romando, that's where that guy works. Hello, Cherry. <laughs> It looks like it, doesn't it? Like, they, they, I mean, we've been accused of being anything from 10 to 13 years old by the same character. And they also think he's completely stupid. Hmm. We give her a hand, we can give her a hand. But well, don't burn your hand. Excellent. We uh we save Cherry from a bad scar. <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> Renounce your feelings. <laughs> I, I feel like at some point I should probably try a playthrough of this game where I just choose all the asshole options. Oh, he's embarrassed. He's shy. He's got the anime. Ooh. Better reheat the soup. I don't know if that's a euphemism or not. Sorry, Tiger, I don't really need your help anymore. Wow! <laughs> you just burned yourself! This is a hell of a thing. Okay, so I can go to more places to hand out flyers, huh?
It's good that time doesn't seem to advance while I'm uh, doing all this. Okay. Shin Master? <laughs> Not sure if that name would be better or worse. Yeah. These have special prizes inside. If you're lucky, you can win more chocolate. Mm, yeah. The ones you bought yesterday were all losers. I feel like that says something about you, Sonny. Oh my god! No! Right, we better get back to... This takes place in New York, yes. Cherry Yonkers. <laughs> oh, so that whole encounter of... takes five minutes, but the other stuff, travelling around town, takes no time at all. <laughs> yeah, Cherry Yonkers is good. It's a little dark. Oh no. Is she going to break the theatre? Oh no, we're going to break the theatre. It's a hefty control room. <laughs> Sherry Yonkers is actually from Utica. <laughs> of course. <laughs> She's going to break the damn theatre. Then why didn't you get Cherry to do it? It's smoking. Oh, God. DD, do not push the buttons. Oh, crap. Honey, I blew up the theater. Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you idiot. But absolutely. Like, look at this. We fucked it. Ratchet is going to be so mad. <laughs> yeah, that was something. Oh. Yep. Mess around with the light switch. Blow up the entire theater. I 
I don't know how I'm going to deal with this problem, but I made the commitment to do it, so now I'm going to do it. But everyone seems to like this. Dating sim points for all the girls. And yes, she is a disaster. <laughs> I hope I've got a good solution. Number of spare steam tanks. Seems good. Steam tanks like the air work on fixing electricity, good point. Are we gonna have a mini game? Feels like it's time for a mini game, guys. You know how bad I am with machines. I do now. How are you going to pilot a combat robot? Got to do this and prove I'm a real man, Al, by fixing the electricity. <laughs> That's so stereotypical. Thank you, Subaru. Don't thank me until the show's over, Shuba. I simply provide the most provide the most logical possible solution, Shuba Shuba. Shijiro Tiger, <laughs> the Japanese car of Southgate. <laughs> uh. Who are you saying all this to? Superfly Cherry Sucker. <laughs> okay. I will catch you later. Thanks for popping in. Shall we begin? I would think so. <laughs> Hold them firm. A good tight grip on those levers. game. Okay. Let's fix the fix the electricity. is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I 
unscrew the screws or remove the face panel. Hmm. No, we've not got Waggle, but we do have other things. <laughs> Boy, you are, um, very into me there. What's next? Replace the damaged circuits and pipes with new ones. Then replace the panel. Is that okay? Switch power supply from the steam tanks to the main system. to flip the circuit oh no okay was that good enough? I feel like I need two analog sticks for this. We did it, guys. We saved the musical. Huge success. Major lighting malfunction. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you've come along. Thank you, mate, man. Became a real man today, yeah. <laughs> For real. All thanks to Jerry Cocker. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, catch you later. We did good. Apart from breaking all the shit.
We're walking home together. Well, isn't that nice? Dating sim real, really kicking in here. Thing is, having worked in events, I know what it's like when you get one of those moments where the lights go or the internet suddenly completely cuts out or something goes horribly wrong. Looks so graceful and manly. Well, that's nice. Yeah, she'll like that. <laughs> yeah, of course you like that. Please teach me how to be a samurai shiny sensei. Oh, you're such a weeb. A second, what for? Okay. Now oh, this place ain't bad. Coffee or warm milk? What about tea? <laughs> yep, don't act like a boy, act like a man, have your coffee, your disgusting coffee, and pretend you like it. Just like every other adult. I'm sure you are, Shiny. Ah. Uh, what was that? Oh. Oh! You have to use the Wiimote for this. Okay. Big pile of straw in the other room for the horse. So many apples here. Can she really eat all of them? She can't be human. For the horse. stuffed horse. Maybe she really likes horses, guys. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, her panties are laying out exposed. It's anime bullshit time, guys. Shouldn't just stare at them. That toaster. Come on out, Larry. <laughs> Your partner. <laughs> He's gonna get the wrong idea. Oh, I didn't put the uh, bot on, did I? Dang it. Uh, give me one second. I should have left that up from the other day. My best buddy in 
the whole wide world. It does seem like it. Uh, oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> Larry says it's a pleasure to meet you, pard. Say hello to the horse. It would be nice to the horse. Let's get you a uh, Discord link there. There we go. Isn't this nice, Larry? We finally made our first true blue New York buddy. So now we're all friends. I'm sure you two will get along like peaches and cream. So anyway, me and Larry grew up together. We're as close as any normal brother and sister. Ah, yes, of course. We used to run the wilderness back in Texas. I miss those days. Hmm. This place is chock full of people and cars. There's no room for us to stretch our legs. Except when you're apprehending criminals. I'm all out of sorts, being a country girl here in the city. I guess that's why I miss the open sky. Texas sometimes. But I can't go back. I'm here on a mission to become the Star Division's greatest actress. Yeah. That's probably a better role for you than trying to do the lights. Besides, I just started making friends here. Well, that doesn't sound great. Well, dang. Let's go, Shiny. Back to the theater. We got a job to do. Beep beep. Lieutenant, let's go. You're coming with us. No worries. Cheers for um cheers for the interest in joining. Look at this, Shiny! You're finally a real member! Yeah! We done it, guys. Good luck! I'll be rooting for you. Today. Beep beep silence, yeah. Your dedication is beyond question. We're prepared to trust you fully, Lieutenant Tyga. Oh. So because I managed to fix the electricity. Get in the car, Shijiro. <laughs> oh, anime time.
Why did you just jump into a big mouth? I'm not gonna get banned from Twitch now, am I? What? Welcome to the conference room. Please take a seat. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sunnyside. Why is the kid here? Because he fixed the electricity. What's your it's very Thunderbirds, yeah. That he'll add a distinct flavor to our combat stew. I do believe Ratchet will be watching over him personally. Isn't that right, Ratchet? Indeed. I fully approve of him joining the Star Division. Well, there we go. But Ratchet... Subaru doesn't think he could do us much harm, even if he wanted to. <laughs> you too? Well, whatever. If he screws up, we can just fire him, right? Depends on employment law. You should know. So, anyway... What about the enemy? They appeared right near the Statue of Liberty. They're destroying everything. It appears it's about time for the stars to shine. Please, Sonny. That's right. Let us explain. Turn on the main monitor, please. Oh, well, this is fancy. Please allow me. This is our pride and joy. The super telekinetic assault robot. Star. Star. <laughs> A real joy to see you again, Mr. Tiger. Mr. Ward. At your service. Mr. Wong, okay. Mr. Wong is my personal secretary, as well as our head mechanic. Oh, okay. Star is ready to launch any time, Mr. Tiger. So, any questions before we set out? Common name for the outlaw weapon. Only be powered by individuals with their own strong Numa. Gary Brolsma, then. Wait, that's Numa. Mm hmm. See, that's all probably quite interesting to people who have played the previous games. Ah. Dark Numa. The Ahab. Okay. <laughs> Sweet and sour duo. Specifically the Rainbow Division. 
Recon and tactical support. Okay, so we're going to be seeing more of uh, Cherry. We might even try to keep you safe. Wow, Henri. Come on. Is everyone ready? Now is the time! All the world's a stage, and it's showtime! Ratchet, clean us out! Oh, Sonny. You got it. Star Division, get ready to shine. Okay. I like your enthusiasm, Lieutenant. Good luck out there. You don't need to be so energetic. Anyway, try not to die. You sound a little forced, Lieutenant. Shinjiro reporting! Copy that, Shinjiro. Silo 2 is connected. Star is ready. Please stand by. I do like the animated sequences in this. They are very cool. Time to get in the robot. It's very much of that sort of 2000s era. <laughs> yeah, getting <laughs> the robot Shinjiro. <laughs> but yeah. Subaru here. Say when. Okay, we got in Wolverine there. Got uh, the dramatic music going. Oh, this is the big airship thing. All right, Ahab, maintenance complete. You're clear to go. Moving sling catapult into position. What? Is that the whole of Times Square there, just? Holy crap! Is it shot out like a crossbow? You may proceed, Ahab. You're clear. And now it's showtime. Fucking <laughs> stingray. For real. <laughs> the mouth opens. <laughs> oh. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, we're still on episode one? Bloody hell. Right, okay. Well. 
Oh, I have been, I've been upgraded to hope. And neither of them like me particularly. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be... Um, I think that's going to be the stream for tonight. That was good fun there. Um... So let's see if there's someone that we can uh, do a raid of. Uh, I'm going to look on my uh, iPad rather than doing it on my PC just so I don't have to mute the uh, thingy thing. Let's see, is anyone playing a Sakura Wars game? Nope. <laughs> okay. But at least we've got some nice, uh, nice music as we go. Alrighty then, well, in which case, for now, I will uh, call the stream. Thanks everyone for uh, joining me. We'll go back to this one on Tuesday, and on Friday we'll be doing Super Monkey Ball as a one-off. Alright, thanks everyone for coming along. I'll catch you later. Thanks, guys. See you soon.